Thanks for watching. I'm James Ranieri, and this is your sports news update. Well, Super Bowl 54 is in the books, and it was a great game. It was a matchup between one of the best defenses in the country and the San Francisco 49ers and the dominating offense of the Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City's young quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, had an outstanding game, bringing the Chiefs back from an early deficit to claim the Vince Lombardi Trophy. Mahomes was 16 for 22, passing for 212 yards. The 49ers had a late drive that would have tied the game, but a sack at midfield ended their hopes. The final score was Kansas City 31 and San Francisco 21. By the way, Kansas City played in Super Bowl I back in 1967, losing the first Super Bowl to the Green Bay Packers. A former Bibb County player came within one game of playing in this year's Super Bowl. Tennessee Titans center Ben Jones played his high school ball at Bibb County High School. He's an eight-year veteran in the NFL and was in Miami for Sunday's Super Bowl as a nominee for the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, which recognizes a player that makes a positive impact in the community. Jones has been raising money for the last several years for the Jones mission, which he started. The program provides after-school programs, computers for students, and sends children to summer camps. The Titans lost to the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. The Alabama basketball team was riding a four-game win streak when they headed to Baton Rouge to take on the LSU Tigers. The Tigers were undefeated in SEC play and showed why they still are with a, steady, with a steady and deadly offense featuring domination on the boards against the Tide. In fact, they had an 18 rebound advantage over Alabama. The Crimson Tide trailed by 18 points at halftime and could only cut the LSU lead to single digits on two occasions during the second half. The, LS, the final score was LSU 81 and Alabama 68. Coach Nate Oates said after the game that that was the second game in a row where his team didn't play hard enough out of the gate. Former Mountain Brook star Trendon Watford led all scorers with 21 points. Bama takes on Tennessee tonight at Coleman Coliseum. Meanwhile, the Alabama women's team played in the friendly confines of Coleman Coliseum on Saturday, taking on the Arkansas Razorbacks. Alabama senior guard Megan Abrams is leading the Tide this season as the team brings in 12-8 and record into the game. Abrams comes from a basketball family. In fact, she has four cousins who have played college sports. Her cousins played basketball, volleyball, and football at other SEC schools. Abrams says that watching her family's dedication to sports encouraged her to develop her basketball skills and get a scholarship, which she's done here at the University of Alabama. Arkansas proved too much for the Lady Tide, winning by a score of 66 to 48. Bama heads to Lexington Thursday night to take on Kentucky. That's a brief sports update. I'm James Ranieri. Thanks for watching.